Hello, my name is Nasreen. I am the creator and finder of Nasreen Organic Skincare. Uh, thank you so much in advance for your uh, time and attention. Um, I like to uh, take a few minutes and uh, uh, tell you a little bit about myself and how Nasreen Organic Skincare was born and what is Nasreen's mission and what makes us uh, different than anybody else. Uh, I was born in Tehran in mid-class family. I have five siblings, I have two brothers and three sisters, and I am the oldest. When I was, uh, when I finished high school, I got into an arranged marriage uh, through my parents. Uh, unfortunately, um, and two years after my marriage, my ex got into some uh, political activities and we had to leave uh, home overnight. We weren't ready for this so we didn't have any passport or anything and we had to leave um, at night uh, without saying goodbye to anybody. Um, I, we had to just pack a suitcase and just go. The only thing we knew that we were gonna go to Pakistan um, through the border and it was one of the um, hardest night in my life. Uh, long story short, um, we got to the border, we had to wait until it gets dark. Um, two guys were waiting for us to take us to the other side. Um, we had to wait until the sun set, so we were actually walking in pitch dark um, for two nights. And I'm not gonna go through the details, but it was one of the most dangerous scariest, worst nights of my entire life that I will never forget. So we got lucky, we got to the other side. Um, after six months living in Pakistan and in that situation that I was in wasn't easy at all. We didn't have much money and we were in a country that we didn't speak the language and and it was, it was a very hard situation. So uh, we got lucky again that Canada accepted us as a refugee. So uh, six months later, we came to Canada. Um, I stayed in that marriage for, um, for 20 years. Um, okay, let me take a step back in here. Um, from the beginning, um, I was never happy in the marriage. We had a lot of uh, we had a lot of issues. Uh, we one of the major issues that I had with him was he was very strict religious person, and I wasn't. So he was always trying to impose his beliefs on me, which never worked. And, and of course, there were uh, so many other disagreement and, uh, and other, um, other things that we didn't, other reasons that we didn't get along. Uh, so you might think that I was crazy to stay um, in a marriage that I wasn't happy for 20 years. Um, I stayed in that marriage for 20 years for a couple of reasons. Two major reasons. One was um, my parents. Uh, where I came from, getting divorced is not very common. And I'm the person that I always wanna keep my parents proud. And I never had the courage and guts to tell my parents that I'm gonna get divorced. I mean, 
and I was I was young, right? I was young, and that was super important to me. I mean, if it was if it was now, I didn't care at all. But at that time, at that age, I it was too difficult for me to do. And the other uh, main reason was that I never worked in Canada. It was really hard for me. Uh, to imagine how I'm going to support myself. So it was always a big question in my head that how I'm going to support myself. I never worked, I never had any experience. It was a, it was a scary for me. Eventually after 20 years, it got, it got to a point it, that I was in a do or die situation. I didn't care anymore what happened, right? It, it just couldn't do that anymore. I couldn't take the pressure anymore. I couldn't take the pain anymore. And I had to do it. So um, finally, I went through the divorce. That itself was a big challenge as well, to go through the challenges of divorce and all that. Um, finally, I did it. It was really hard. It was really hard. And it took me a while to uh, to adapt. And um, And I realized that actually I have a talent. Um, and I start enjoy uh, what I was doing. So I really enjoy interacting with people, uh, finding their needs. Uh, it just satisfied me, it made me happy uh, that they are happy. In those years, I used to live in uh, Alberta in Edmonton. Uh, Edmonton has, uh, as many of you might know, uh, very long winters, very cold, dry, long winters, and also the water in Edmonton is uh, is hard. So is um, I have a super dry skin, and it's uh, worse uh, weather condition for someone with dry skin. And also, as you get older, your body doesn't. Um, retain moisture uh, as when you are younger. So I was in an age that actually I was really feeling it. Um, at that time I was about 41, 42. I used a lot of uh, lotions, creams, a lot of product that recommended by doctors, professionals. Um, and I, I never found something that actually really I'm um, happy with and satisfied me. I mean, some of the creams and lotion worked a little bit, but not 100%. Um, so when I was applying the cream and lotion, um, I was I had different challenges because when I was applying the cream and lotions, I was actually feeling that it plugs my pores. I hate the stickiness of the lotions. Some of them, the smell. Um, I'm very sensitive to a lot of things, so it really um, wasn't happy and it wasn't really working. So it, it got a little bit better, and but not 100%. So I was always seeking uh, for a better solution. So one day I have decided to take the matter uh, on my own hand. I did some extensive research and I actually noticed the power of uh, good natural oil. So actually I bought a combination of uh, organic cold press uh, oils with, uh, with some essential oils and I made a body oil. And oh my God, you will not believe it that this body oil was a game changer. Uh, as soon as I apply it, to my skin, it absorbs very quickly. There is no residue. There is no plugging my pores. There is no overpowering smell. It was a game changer. I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe this actually. After, you know, a few years going to doctors, using the product that I wasn't happy, and I finally, I finally actually made something that actually I'm happy with. So from that moment on, I always uh, made my own uh, body oil. And going forward, it was about the 
time that I was in an age that actually I could see the formation of wrinkles and uh, wrinkles around my eyes and my skin. Um, and I was actually seeking for an uh, anti-aging product now. Um, I could never use a regular cream or lotion because again, I'm, I have a very sensitive skin and um, when I use these products, I feel like there is a layer, uh, it leaves a layer of um, kind of a film on my face and plug my pores and it just makes me hot. It's just not a, not a good feeling. So for me, um, a regular creams and lotion uh, never worked. So I had to go to premium. So I actually went and I spent uh, $800 in one eye cream, one serum and one lotion. And that was the first and last time that I actually spent money um, in a skincare. After using it for, for a month or so, I really didn't uh, see the result I was uh, looking for. Uh, especially when you spend $800, you expect to see um, some kind of a result. And I didn't. It was time for me to take the matter to my own hand again. Uh, since I uh, since I made that body oil, I was really encouraged to do it uh, to do it again. So this time, actually, I was uh, I wanted to know more about it. I wanted to uh, do it in more professional way. Um, at that time, I had no. Uh, attention to bring anything to the market. I just did it for myself. Uh, so I took a course in uh, formulating organic skincare. Um, I really enjoy making products for myself uh, and, and I was providing friends and family with what I was making. Everybody was very happy about it. Um, the first two, three months when I was using my uh, own product actually, um, some people told me, what are you doing? You look a little different. Um, so I noticed that actually my stuff works. And um, I never had an intention to bring the product to the market. So, um, but always other people told me I should. One day I was thinking about it and it just hit me. I said to myself, oh my God, this is it. Uh, as a kid, I always wanted to do something to help others. And I thought, this is my chance. That was the moment that I have decided to um, create a team to help me uh, to, uh, to create a powerful, uh, unique, organic uh, product uh, for you guys. I am so grateful and lucky uh, of all great people in my team, especially a scientist who has uh, 30 years of experience uh, of uh, formulating organic skincare. That makes me uh, very um, happy and grateful. And um, I am in my 50s and I'm very happy and comfortable about uh, my skin and my mission is to help um, other women to feel uh, happy, confidence and comfortable uh, about uh, their skin without compromising their health and without spending a fortune. Thank you.